What's up YouTube? Um, I'm here today to teach you a little bit something, like something a little bit different. And um, it's going to be how to install, uh, like actually a couple different methods on how to install mods into GTA San Andreas. And, uh, well, this, see, I have, I have installed two different San Andreas on my computer. This one right here is the one I put all my mods in, and then this one down, and this one up here is the one that I play through the storyline. And there's no mods in that because sometimes the mods mess up the storyline if you replace certain cars and stuff, and it doesn't it doesn't always seem to work out correctly. So I have a whole separate one, and uh, I have a 100% save file on there. So I basically just free roam in whatever mods I may put into the game at that point. So. The first method we're going to use is um, possibly what I think is the easiest method, and I'll put links into the description in the, in the description to all these tools, so you guys won't be lost trying to find them. Okay, first thing we're going to use is called GGMM, and it's uh, it's a mod manager, and I have mine in the San Andreas folder because I figured that's going to be the easiest place to find it. So you open this up here and it's cool because you can basically go down you can look at all the mods you have in the game see as you can see I have others this would be in like an Acura Coupe I think that is this is a Corvette like I have other mods put in now this is my favorite thing because it's 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 very easy because there's an, a manual mod installer right here and it does everything for you and I'm gonna explain what all this stuff is in a second now I downloaded a couple mods here and um, I downloaded a, uh, a 93 GT 5.0 and a Range Rover because I wanted a Range Rover in the game. I'm a big fan of Range Rovers, uh, and there really isn't one in the game, so I figured I'll put I'll I'll put one in there, you know. So we're gonna open this up here, and we're gonna open this little fold. <laughs> we're gonna open this little folder, and you see it is replacing the Huntley. So we're gonna drag these to your desktop for easy convenience, and we're gonna open this up. And we don't need this anymore. I'm gonna close that down. Now, first, let me explain that uh, normally when you download a mod, the README file looks a lot neater than this. This this isn't a very good quality README file. This is very very jumbled, very very hard to read. And um, I'll, I'll like basically right here is the handling line, which the handling line in the manual mod installer goes right here. And the handling line is basically how the car drives its uh, well, its handling, hence the name handling line. It's um its wheel size, things like that. That's what the handling line is for. Now this line this line right here is the vehicle's IDE line, and you'll see and I'll show you how to manually install all of this stuff later. And um that goes right here. And the vehicle's IDE line is basically how the game, how the world of San Andreas sees your car. For instance, right here how it says rich family and stuff like that. This is like, say you replace a uh, an ugly beat down car in the game that people wouldn't find very appealing and you replace it with a beautiful like Ferrari, Lamborghini. The IDE line is going to make it so the world of San Andreas sees that as a beautiful car and like prostitutes will come up to you stuff like that and that's basically what that's for um, there's no car mods data for this one which is ba which basically enables because a lot of a lot of cars either can't get any mods or can't get certain mods but car mods lines um, enable and disable certain mods that these cars that you put in will be able to get and this and this one right here is pretty much self-explanatory it's a car colors and this shows uh... like this right here one twenty three comma one that's one set of colors that you'll see that you'll see this car at zero zero that's another set of colors one one three three so on whatever some some mods will have a car colors line endless other mods will have certain colors that you have to add into the colors data file i'll show you that later so what we're going to do right now, we're going to use this manual mod installer, and we're going to close this out. First, we're going to we're going to search up the Huntley, so we can basically see it change right before our eyes. See, which actually it kind of looks like a beat down '90s version of a Range Rover, which is kind of cool. But um, here we go. We're going to go here, right to installer, manual mod installer. Then we're going to open where it says DFF model, and as you see right here, where we put this 
on the desktop. We're going to scroll down here, Huntley DFF open and then the same for the TXD. Now the DFF is basically the modeling like the um the 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 polygons and the meshes and all that stuff that you would use like Z model for or any modeling program to make and the TXD is like if there's any decals on the car or how you want the mirrors to look the um just the 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 touch up the finishing the details stuff like that that's what's in the TXD file. And I have TXD workshop installed so you see that you can open it with that. Now we're gonna just copy this handling line right here. We're gonna copy this whole thing. It ends right there. We're gonna copy this into the handling line. And as you can see it's right there. That's the handling line. Then we're gonna go right here to the vehicle's IDE 579 as we can see the Huntley is number 579 and that's how you know that it matches up. Later on I'll also teach you how to change mods to fit into other mods if you say already have that car replaced. So we're going to paste this right here. Boom. And then the car colors line, short sweet to the point. Control C and paste right there. Colors. And now, no, normally you don't have to validate it. You could just hit install and it's going to install. Watch as it installs right before your eyes. Ready? And boom, right there. There's your Range Rover. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Uh, now we're going to go in-game, and we're going to show you your finished product. And here it is, your finished product in-game. As you can see, it looks beautiful on the outside. Very much credit to the mod maker for this. And as you can see, it goes faster and has tighter handling than the original Huntley in this game. And that's because of the handling. It stops on a dime. It's truly a beautiful, beautiful car. Now, one way you can really see the real quality and the real skill of the mod maker would be. Oh, I up the bumper. <laughs> would be the interior. The best of the mod makers out there are freaks for their interior. They make sure their interior looks perfect. Now see from a distance it may look good, but I also have a mod that allows you to drive first person. You just hit shift here and you can move the camera around with certain keys. So here we see here we see watch we're gonna move down and you see it's really not that great of a quality of interior. Oh and see here's a perfect example of the IDE line. The prostitute came up to you because she saw this usually beat down Huntley as a beautiful Land Rover and she wanted a piece of that. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and uh, I have uh, a part two coming which I'll show you both how to manually install mods and also I will also show you how to change a mod to replace a different car than it was originally made to replace. Thanks guys. See you later.